What's going on, everybody? Ed0626 bringing you some more Call of Duty World War II. Today I'm on the map USS Texas, aka USS Spawn Trap, aka USS Alexis Texas. And for those of you who know something about the porn industry, know that last uh, little reference I made there is a little cheeky little reference. Anyway, today's gameplay is an absolute smackage of a gameplay. I called it USS Spawn Trap for a reason, and that is exactly what I displayed in this game. This, this game is basically me spawn trapping and outsmarting the fuck out of the entire team on the other side, along with my buddy, the person next to you. There, there's, and the STG-44, to be honest, is probably one of the best guns to use on this map. It's actually one of the best guns in the game in general. But today, what I want to talk to you guys about, and it's been irking me for quite a long time, because I have been meaning to make a commentary about this for the longest time, and I just haven't been able to because there are more topics I've wanted to talk about before this. But today, I'm here to talk to you guys about why Call of Duty development, in terms of the maps, like the map design, has just fallen downhill so dramatically. It's actually quite sad, to be honest. You know, when I look at, and I, when I to make this commentary, I'm only considering... Every Call of Duty I've played since Black Ops 1, not including Ghost and Infinite Warfare, because I did not purchase those games, I did not play those games. Some people think Ghost ranks up as one of the worst Call of Duty maps, some of the worst Call of Duty maps of all time. I cannot say that because I did not play the game, but this is solely my opinion, and that's that. So when I think of Call of Duty World War II maps, I think to myself, wow. There's only like three or four maps in this entire game that I actually truly enjoy to play. Those maps include St. Marie du Mont, Ardennes, Gibraltar, and Flak Tower. Those are some of the maps that you see me play the most, where I do the most good on, or in terms of how I play in my KD and such. But I, those are those are maps I honestly enjoy playing out of them all. I mean, there's other maps that they have added but they're just so terribly bad, you know? And I'm gonna tell you why some of them are bad. For in, But first, let me t explain to you guys that when I look back at past Call of Duty, such as Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare 3, specifically, there's not really many maps I can say I truly hated from those Call of Duties. Yeah, Black Ops 2 had some maps I didn't like and so on, but when I think of, like, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare, not Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 3, excuse me, and Black Ops 1 particularly, I think to myself, wow, how far have has this franchise fallen with map design? Because I think of Black Ops 1 and I say to myself, there's not one map I truly ever hated to play in this game. Um, besides Hotel and one of the DLC packages, that map was not fun to play whatsoever. Um, but, I mean, I, even maps like Jungle, Hanoi, um, Cracked, actually, I, I really didn't like Cracked that much, but... It's still a map I can do decent on if I had the opportunity to. And then there were maps I absolutely smacked on, like Villa, Firing Range, uh, basically uh, Havana, basically any of the uh, Cuban-based maps I was really good on. Um, I was also, there's also um, maps like Grid, Nuketown, and such. And then Modern Warfare 3, the only map I truly ever despised was Outpost, and... Uh, Lockdown, and anyone who knows me knows I despise Lockdown, as I absolutely outplay that stupid motherfucker that ran into my Bouncing Betty. It's really not hard to fool people in these lobbies with this type of shit. There's a reason I call it the USS Spawn Trap, because that's exactly what I'm doing, that's exactly how I fucking got this gameplay, because all I had to do was Spawn Trap the other team that showed that I was smarter than them. Now, when I look at Call of Duty World War II maps, I say to myself, man, how far has this franchise fallen? Because there's really not... Like I said, other than the four maps I listed that I enjoy playing, there's really not many maps I truly enjoy. Yeah, I like USS Texas. I do pretty well on. But that's only because this lobby I was in was full of dumbasses. And they were easy to fool. Um, if you play against the competent team, I can guarantee you, especially on this map, that the results will be much, much different. But this map itself is just not great, in my opinion. It's not my favorite to play. It's it's just I don't know what it is. It just rubs me the wrong way, the way how it's just you know laid out. Um, and then I also look at map maps like Carantan Winter. What the fuck were they thinking with that map? You know, I mean, it's just it's an utter clusterfuck of buildings and narrow passageways. There's not 
one streak that could ever be truly useful in that map on that map and then you had they added shipment which is a modern warfare reboot map um it's that's basically an absolute clusterfuck i mean there are some people that enjoy it i'm not a huge fan of it uh i have maybe i've only played it like once or twice but maybe if i play it more i'd get a you know i get the uh feeling for it or the knack for it but and then there's maps like gustav cannon where you don't really run into anybody on the map um and it's just an absolute shit show and i truly and it's true it's true i mean look at gustav cannon everybody's camping either in the middle or like one or two buildings that are in the spawn areas you run around the entire map and i've done that i've ran around the entire map flanked all around never ran into a soul for about two and a half minutes did it kill my sp my uh, score per minute? Probably, but um, truly, I, I honestly believe that that map is by far the worst in the game. Um, actually, now that I think about it, London Docks isn't so bad. But the thing is, the other thing the problem with these maps, especially maps like uh, Point Duhok, Ardennes, even though I do like that map, and London Docks, it's just, it's just a flank clusterfuck. Some of the passageways in these maps are just utter too many too many passageways especially and it on gibraltar i forgot gibraltar is where as well that's another map with a lot of flanking routes perhaps too many flanking routes you know so i mean like i said before when i look back at past call of duties where i really enjoyed most of the maps and i look at the call of duties that are around now it's just like the map design has just fallen you know even the newer maps and newer call of duties like uh, combine uh, from Black Ops 3. That was another clusterfuck for quite a long time, if you all remember. Nuketown 2065 is utter trash, in my opinion. It seems like the Nuketown maps got worse and worse and worse with each iteration. I don't know what it is, but it just that just happened to fall into place that way. I honestly, the, the more I play Nuketown in each Black Ops series, the less I enjoy it. Uh, and there's really not much that can change my mind about that, you know? It's just how each game is really made, to be honest. By the way, the fact that I did not get play of the game in any of the stuff I've showed you guys just makes me angry. I absolutely destroyed these fools. But anyway, guys, if you played Call of Duty World War II, how do you think these maps stack up to past maps in past Call of Duties? So, with that being said, my name is Edgeu626. Hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. I smacked the shit out of this team, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day.